Hey guys, Jacob Howard here, and today we are going to look at FPV drone frames. The frame of the FPV drone is the backbone and protection for all the sensitive and fragile components of the drone. A frame for FPV drones has to be the right size, durability, shape, and weight to give the best results to the pilot. Let's jump into each of these factors to see how they impact the performance of the drone. Size. Frame size can be based on one of two things, prop size or how far apart your motors are. Most frames are measured in millimeters such as 210 millimeter, 150 millimeter, and so on. But for this course, we are going to be looking at frame size as it pertains to prop size. As in a 3 inch frame will accommodate 3 inch props, a 5 inch frame, 5 inch props, and so on. 3 inch frames and smaller are considered micro frames, 4 inch and up are considered mini frames. When looking for a drone frame, it's good to keep in mind what your end goal is. If you want to get into racing, there are certain frame attributes to look for, like it being lightweight and aerodynamic. If you want to get into freestyle or cinematic flying with an HD camera on board, you're going to want a durable frame with a space to put a camera mount on. 5 inch frames are very common and mostly what we will be building as this course progresses. Materials Carbon fiber is the most common material used for FPV drones. It's made of high strength carbon strands that have been woven together in sheets that are then bonded with epoxy. Carbon fiber allows rigidity and high strength while still being lightweight. However, it can be expensive. Also, carbon fiber is conductive and can block radio waves. So care must be given while assembling and placing antennas to avoid short circuits and ensure you get good radio signals. Even with these drawbacks, it's still the most popular material for FPV frames. Other frame materials include mixes of carbon fiber with things like aluminum or flexible polymers. HDPE is a common material which weighs more than carbon fiber but is more flexible, which helps it hold up well in a crash. For starting out though, we recommend a carbon fiber frame. Styles. Frames come in lots of different shapes and sizes, the main shapes being X and H, with a few variations on both, such as the Hybrid X, Stretched X, Dead Cat, and True X. Each style of frame has advantages and disadvantages. Some, like the Dead Cat frame, will help to keep props out of view of your FPV and HD camera. Others, like the True X or Stretched X, have different centers of gravity and are better for racing. Hybrids are used more for freestyle and cinematic flying. The two main styles of drone frames that we will be focusing on are racing and freestyle frames. Racing frames tend to be more lightweight and more aerodynamic. Freestyle frames, on the other hand, are built more for durability and utility. There are other frame styles such as Y Tricopter, a three motor design, Hex, drone with six arms and motors, or even Octocopter, eight motors and eight arms. In this course, we will be focusing mainly on the X style quadcopter drones. Unibody or separate arms. Most frames consist of a top and bottom plate, arms, standoffs, and hardware to hold them together. There are frames that have all these pieces separate, and there are others that have unibody designs where some of the parts are integrated into one solid piece, or unibody. The unibody design is oftentimes considered to be stiffer and stronger because there are fewer joints and thus fewer weak points and sometimes make frame assembly more simple. One of the big downsides to a unibody is if an arm breaks, you are going to have to do a lot more work to fix it than you would if they were separate pieces. Weight. Frame weight is something to consider depending on what style of flying you're going for. If you're planning on racing, you're going to want a frame that is light as possible but still able to recover from a crash. So skinnier arms, thinner carbon fiber, and a smaller center frame. For freestyle flying, you're going to want a frame that can withstand a lot of abuse. That means thicker, less aerodynamic arms, thicker carbon fiber all around, and strong hardware. Battery placement. Battery placement is largely determined by what kind of frame you get. Most racing frames will have the battery slung on the bottom. This helps improve cornering and handling because the weight is under the center of gravity. One of the drawbacks to an underside battery is it's more exposed in a crash and prone to get damaged. Freestyle frames normally have the battery mounted on top of the frame. This helps protect the battery in a crash. Pods. Pods are a canopy normally made out of 3D printed material, moldy carbon fiber, or manufactured plastic. They are used to cover the sensitive components of your drone and offer protection from moisture, dust, and debris. However, they are not as strong as a frame with a top plate. Some designs also might limit airflow to the electronics causing them to overheat. In the end, frames are another part of the drone that really determines how you can fly. Use the knowledge you just gained to discover exactly the frame you need. If you enjoyed this video on FPV, we actually have an entire online course developed around these same types of lessons. We're talking dozens of lessons and hours of material design to get you started into FPV or make you a better pilot. It is the world's first online FPV course and we have students from around the world learning through it. The link to learn more is in the comments below. And as always, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and have fun flying.